This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is what happens if you crossed a anime blockbuster movie with a real AAA game and then squeezed it into a mobile phone. It's genuinely revolutionary and it's free to play. Let's talk champions. Raid's got nearly 700 of them. And they've recently added a super cool new faction called the Sylvan Watchers. You've got forest elves, you've got scary looking tree spirits, you've even got living rock monsters. The Sylvan Watchers basically have it all as a faction, so let's find out more about their history within the world of Teleria while looking at their super cool designs. Rather than building a sprawling city on the ground or in a cave, Sylvan Watchers made their home in the Mistwood, a huge jungle in the east of Teleria. Don't expect to walk in the park if you're trying to visit the Sylvan Watchers. If the beasts don't kill you, the Sylvan probably will for trespassing on their land. They do have a city open to outsiders called Niressa, and they've made fast friends with the neighboring Shadowkin and Dwarf factions through their shade struggles. That's why these three factions are all in the Niressa Union Alliance in-game, as their bond of friendship was forged in the city of Niressa. The more you know. Yeah. To all new players, it's time to vote on your favorite starter champion. Download Raid Shadow Legends from the links below, copy your in-game player ID, then go to championselect.playerm.com. Simply enter your player ID and then vote for your chosen champion. That's all there is to it. This vote runs from January 16th to February 10th, with all eligible entrants being in with the opportunity to win awesome in-game and real-life prizes, including epic and legendary champions, in-game items, and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. Once the vote ends on February 10th, one champion will be crowned the winner, and the prize winners will be selected via a draw. Don't worry, if you're an existing raid player, you can still get involved. Just head to championselect.playerm.com where you can find a special promo code that everyone can use for a small in-game gift. But there's more! New players, use my link or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. And if you've been living under a rock, you may not know that the MMA and pro wrestling megastar Ronda Rousey has made an exciting leap into the world of Raid with her very own champion. You can get Ronda by simply opening Raid seven days before February 20th. Uh, that, well, that's all there is to it. To celebrate her arrival, you can use the promo code RAIDRONDA to get a bunch of useful in-game items to help level her up. Just enter the promo code in-game and the goodies will be sent straight to your inbox. And with that, thank you so much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video and let's get on to it! Bonsoir, Ejad. It's nice to see you again. But my goodness! So soon? They are overworking you, are they not? Ah, quite. A spice mission is never over. Not until the world is safe. So, I assume that M has pushed you on the mission? Perfect. Okay. It is to my knowledge that you are to go to a casino owned by a reclusive billionaire. Yes, okay. And your job is to uh, play a wealthy uh, buyer in order to find out about uh, the smuggling operation. Yes? All agree. I did some digging. I want him to see you and be drawn to you. And I find out that he's a man of very classic taste. He doesn't like the thrills, the, uh, the frills, uh, or extra mm, too much. So for tomorrow, I will have you in something elegant, fancy, and black tie. Simply, you will be wearing a tuxedo. So, I do not have the... one moment. I do not have the jacket tonight because the extra pockets inside to hold all the gadgets is being finished, so I do not have it tonight, but I have another jacket that we can use to get a good idea of the final look, and we can get the mic um, 
the wire um, all situated so we know that everything is working okay so my plan is to have you with uh, this white button down it is made of a warmer fabric so that you um, are not cold because it's still winter um, but it's also breathable in its own way okay so I'm going to unbutton this and have you try it on in your undershirt is this the one that you plan on wearing or won't like it good because it is perfect for the the outfit this shirt that you are wearing it looks um, not too hot so you won't sweat underneath because um, the warm layers can sometimes hold in the uh, moisture so this one is good if you wear this you will be perfect Okay, let's put this on you, shall we? Now, hold your arm up for me, please. Okay, let's go around you. Okay, and your arms down. Good, nice. And your collar. does it feel? Good, good. I'm just going to button it up for you. Yes, it is very soft. Just a few more buttons. Okay, good. Good. Uh, stand for me, please. Want to see how this is fitting you. like the length of this sleeve? Hmm, I agree. Good. So, I'm going to do some measurements uh, where you have this on. Uh, this is going to be for the jacket, just in case. I like to be extra um, sure that everything is perfect for when you go on your mission. So just a few measurements. So just stand still for me. This will be quick, don't worry. Okay, so right. To measure your neck. Please loosen up for me. Relax. Measure shoulder to shoulder. Good. Not this much. Good. Yes. Okay, we're going to do a bit. The shoulder to the bicep length. So just 
just hold your arms naturally for me okay. and while we are here I am going to measure the arm the here to the wrist okay for arm So, uh, measure the circumference of the bicep and the um, the forearm part that is the most large. Okay. Same with the bicep. Okay. And measure your arm over here. Shoulder to wrist. Okay? Shoulder to wrist. Right, start here. Shoulder. Please remain um, relaxed. Don't uh, up your shoulders. Relax. Good, very good. Exactly like that. Okay, I'm just going to measure this height in just in case to see that it's the same. Okay, it is the same. <laughs> Sometimes it is not, but the wrist sixty. Okay. Can you hold your arms up? I'm going to measure around your chest. Okay? The biggest part of your chest. And um, you can breathe natural. Uh, if you want, you can hold in big breath. If you want extra room. Okay. Okay. Thirteen. And the waist. Okay, I'm just going to measure. Wasting. Okay. Good. Two. Let's do a measurement of neck to waist. Okay. I want to make sure that I have all the measurements so that everything fits just right, okay? Hold still. Okay. Make sure I got this right. Okay. Measurement is 55. Neck to shoulder. Okay, so this part to this part. Lost my measuring tape there. <laughs> All right, neck to shoulder was nineteen. Oh, hips and back. Okay, let's do hips first. Hot steel. Round here. Get your back. Okay. Please 
relax. Okay. Good. Write that down before I forget. <laughs> so the hips were one, twelve, and the back was it was fifty. Okay. So I got all the measurements here. I'm going to take this with me. Okay. So let's take a look at the jacket, okay? Uh, this toy. Okay. So this is the jacket that we will have in trial for tonight. I won't go into detail about it because it's not the one that you will be wearing but I will go over uh, your wearing tuxedo jacket it will have a shawl label uh, in satin of course with a satin button as embellishment um, very classy it will be not full uh, slim fit but more slim uh, then stand out to show a bit more of a sleek look. Uh, this one in particular is warm. Tell me if you would like me to insert uh, maybe something in the other jacket to make it warm like this one. But if not, if the undershirt and the button down are enough, then that's good. We will also have a vest underneath. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't want you to be too warm. Okay, let's try this on, okay? This one I know you have worn in a previous mission and it fit you very well. So I just wanted to make sure with this one. But it also has the pockets for the wire. Uh, you know. We have been putting the wire yes, sewed inside the jacket uh, with the mic popping up here with where the pocket square is but it will not be seen because the pocket square is sewed on. Uh, this will be true for the jacket that we are getting ready for you. It will be the same as this one with the um, wire. Uh, of course we do this because someone suspects you are wearing a wire the first thing they do is stare off all your clothes and they look on your chest and they say where is the wire and when they do not see it taped to your chest they think oh he's good he's clean so that was the thinking behind that and that has never failed us so. but uh, yeah be sure not to, to get it too wet it can withstand some water, but a depth of too much, it cannot. Okay, allow me to help you put this on, please. Put the arm here. And around. pin something here. Um, I just want to, there's some part that I think can be taken in on the other jacket, so I want to make a note of that. I clean this part right around your neck, be careful. Okay. Good. Um, I think we'll take it in right around here. 
Good. Yes, I like that better. Do you feel like it's more... It's not too tight? Good. Okay. It's going to bother me uh, that um, it has a little bit of fur on it. My fur child loves to sit on all the things. So, it's going to... Yes, of the jacket. <laughs> Have you gotten any sleep tonight, Asia? Well, I say so because you have packs under your eyes you do not normally so I worry for you well, you should try getting some sleep sometime it is good for your hair as well as and you cannot uh, operate at your best if you do not have adequate sleep. should be good. I think I got all of them. If not, I will come back in with the lead one. Okay. So it does fit nice in the shoulder. Do you want me to bring um, it up, the, the button? Do you want it to start down? Or do you want it to be more up here? Or here? Okay. <laughs> Use my discretion, okay. I think that it is very classy to have it lower for the tuxedo so that you can see the white undershirt and the, uh, um, the satin vest. I think that that will very look classy. So I'm going to make a note with um, this here that I want to bring it down a bit. Just a little more. Pin this side here. You see here the pockets. Mm, 
you've used a wire before? Good, good. I thought perhaps you had, as you um, have been here for quite some time. So you are expert. So, right. I'm going to pin the... First of all, everything looks good. Um, it does match with the trousers. Thank you so much for wearing them. Um, for coming in with the trousers. I think that it will fit very well. Um, of course, the pant leg is hitting the floor, but that's because I did take into account the shoes that you will be wearing. The ones that we have planned for you are the ones that have a knife in the heel, uh, as well as something else. I believe that does uh, a shoe balm of some sort so uh, there is a wider heel it won't look weird it will look normal with the outfit but unsuspecting yes very unsuspecting uh, but yes there is a bit of a, a height so please ignore the panther leg on the floor all very normal the mic here we are just going to pin this to where it should be uh, the pocket square is going to be um, I was thinking uh, we could do a pop of colour there uh, we could do full uh, no classic and do white but I don't want you to look so classic that you don't have a personality so I was thinking navy blue or maroon that part is up to you uh, if you wanted to have a jacquard uh, pattern it will be silk of course to match the tuxedo okay I'm just going to pin this part here that's where the mic will go here and so this part right here okay good this pocket will be right here make a note of this I want it to flow naturally so that it doesn't feel um, uncomfortable with the wire so I want to take a look at your natural shape as I pin these together here this part right there okay can you stand normal for me? Sorry to fuss, but I want to make sure it's very good. So this will lay like this. Uh, how does it feel? And the wire. pockets for your other things I know that will be there okay good let's move on to the tie
going to tie it for you because I want to see the full outfit. Well, as much as we can without the jacket. Okay. What sort of tie do you prefer? The Winsel, the double Winsel. Ah. I'm a not test. Okay. actually go with uh, skinny tie. This looks good, but um, uh, skinny tie might be too much. Mm, this one is fine. The length is perfect though. It hits the perfect spot uh, even with the uh, bringing down the buttons, opening it up a bit. This will be good. Because it is a longer tie, so it will be just fine. If you like, we could also do bow tie. Is that something that you are interested in? It is. You know, I think that the bow tie would be much better. I don't have it on me at the moment, but I will bring it with you to the final fitting tomorrow, along with this tie, just in case you change your and we can see what we think of all that. Okay, I'm just going to get my final looks. Okay. Good. I'm going to have you try on your earbud. Uh, this is coming from technology department. They want me to make sure that um, you can hear with the earbuds in. Okay, hold still. I'm going to put it. Okay. And the other one. Can you hear me? Can you hear me just fine? There's no muffle. Okay, I'm going to test. So I can tell them that everything is good. I'm going to take this out. Okay. And this one. Okay. Put that back for the department. A last limb. You have an option to have a pen uh, in one of the pockets. It's very useful for many situations. Selling contracts, uh, autographs, whatever. But this one in particular is a very special pen because it is new. I'm excited to tell you. It has a sleeper agent. 
in uh, the tip all you have to do is press this part right here in and then poof in the face immediately they fall asleep it lasts um uh, not so long but if you're tired maybe longer most of these billionaires i'm sure do not sleep oh yes ah uh, it is right here it uh this is part where you push oh i apologize i did not mean to do that but uh, to be fair you did need a bit of a sleep so if you want you can sleep on the couch over there that's where we normally have people sit while they try on uh, their guests try on things but it is very plush and it is extremely soft You are, you are leaving me. Okay, I will leave you in here. I will tell all of the girls and uh, the helpers to not come in and leave you to sleep. Okay, I will see you soon when you wake up. Or maybe I won't. It might be someone else because it's late and I.